Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 55 inch i falcon LED TV. Here in this TV, the complaint is no display. Here you can see the backlights are working properly. See friends, here you can see the backlights. Here the problem is with the panel. These types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. Due to internal shorting here the panel goes to protection mode. See friends this is the model number. Here you can see this is the motherboard. It's a 55 inch Android LED TV. This is the Tcon board. And this is the power supply board. Here the fault is with the gate signal shorting inside the glass panel. Because of that, this no display complaint occurs. See friends, this is the Tcon model number. It's a 55 inch CSOT panel. Here in this Tcon board while measuring, here we found that the VGL voltage is okay, but the VGH voltage is low. See friends, while measuring the VGH voltage, here we found that we getting the low VGH voltage. See friends, now the TV is turned on and here you can see the result. See friends, it shows 11 voltage. Here you can see in VGH test point, it shows only 11 voltage. The VGL voltage is okay. See friends. So to repair this panel, first we need to remove the FFC cable from right side of the decon board and check the picture is okay or not if the picture is okay then we need to do a small modification so first here i removed the right side ffc cable now in this condition let us turn on the tv and check whether the half portion of the picture is okay or not See friends, now the TV is turned down. Let us release the TV from the standby and check the picture. After removing the right side FFC cable, here you can see the complaint remains same. So this means that the problem is not with the right side gate signal tracks. Maybe the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks. If both sides of the panel is short then it is not repairable. After all this is just only a temporary solution and the permanent solution is panel replacement. So here we reconnected the right side FFC cable. See friends now we 
connected the right side FFC cable. After connecting the right side FFC cable back to a TCON board, now we disconnected the left side FFC cable from the TCON board. Here you can see the left side FFC cable is disconnected. So in this condition, now let us turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, here you can see the result. Now the half portion of the screen is visible. See friends, here you can see the right side picture is correct. So this means that the problem is with the left side gate signal tracks. So to repair this TV, instead of taping method, here we using another method. Here in this panel, you can see a series of resistance in this you need to remove two resistance it is named as LC1 and LC2 see friends I will show you in detail you need to prevent the voltages entering to the panel from LC1 and LC2 test point See friends, these are the LC1 and LC2 test point. Here you can see both VGH and VGL voltages will appear simultaneously as a pulsing voltage. If VGH voltage in LC1, then VGL voltage will be in LC2. If VGH voltage in LC2, then VGL voltage will be in LC1. See friends, so to repair this panel, first we need to remove these two resistance from the scalar board after removing these two resistance it will block the lc1 and lc2 voltages entering to the panel so to repair this panel here we now going to remove these two resistance from the scalar pcb of the take on board the second and third one these are the lc1 and lc2 resistance respectively second and third one so friends now i'm going to remove these two resistance from the scalar board after that i will show you the result see friends finally here we removed these two resistance here you can see these are the two removed zero ohms resistance see friends now these two resistance are removed by doing this small modification, now we prevented the LC1 and LC2 voltages entering to the panel through this left side FFC cable. Here you can see the live result. So now we can connect the FFC cable back to the take on board. In this panel, for this modification, there is no need for taping method. You can do this small modification for repairing this same model 55 inch panel. By removing the LC1 and LC2 resistance from the scalar PCB from left side, the picture will come. See friends, now we reconnected all FFC cables. Now let us turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, now the TV is turned on. 
Now we need to release the TV from the standby. See friends, now the TV is released from the standby and here you can see the final result. Now the picture comes and the TV works properly. See friends, now the picture is crystal clear. As I said earlier, this is just only a temporary solution and we cannot predict how long the TV will work using this method. It completely depends on luck basis. It will work until the right side gets shorted. If both sides of the panel gets shorted, then it is not repairable. So in that situation, panel replacement is the only solution. At present condition, here you can see the final result. Now the display comes and the TV works properly. Here you can see, now the picture is crystal clear. It's take time for booting because it's an Android TV. See friends, this is the result. So without using typing method, in this SCOT panel, you can repair like this. So that's it. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thanks for watching.